Why did you stop? Come on. You stopped. <laughs> Someone important there. Oh, the Bolshoi Theater. this the more you come here to the red square area the more new things you discover look at how charming this place here is full of stands they're selling typical Russian food uh, selling other souvenirs as well I love it look at you getting all smart there <laughs> buying food on your own <laughs> what are you getting Wow, that looks good. Yeah. Look at the size of those pieces. This smell of this barbecue is amazing. <laughs> Actually, all the food here, everything smells really good. But prices are not. Souvenirs are a little expensive here. A little expensive there too. So let me introduce you to Arbat Street. This is a pedestrian street in the historical center. This street has existed at least, at least since the 15th century. So this is also one of the older surviving streets in Moscow. I read online that this is where the nobles lived in the 18th century. But today... <laughs> this is a tourist paradise. I like the prices. I learned that the more detailed the matryoshkas are, the more expensive. Not necessarily depending on how many dolls they have inside, you know, but I love this one, so many. Ha! Which one do you choose? None! They need Modric and Bapi. Oh, let me show you something interesting here. A lot of people ask me if it's difficult to order food in Russia. And a lot of restaurants have menus exactly like this. Look at that. Translated into English and with pictures. This makes it really easy. Rogis. They call Varanaki. Even at Arbat Street you can find good prices. talk about Moscow, everyone thinks about Red Square and Kremlin, right? But there's a second Kremlin here. It's this one where we are. It is Malovo. Kremlin is a word that means fortress, but this is not a real one. This was created in 2007. This is like a fairy tale place inspired by traditional Russian architecture. So cute. This is a cultural and entertainment complex with two central buildings. One is inspired by the Summer Palace in Kolomenskoy, southern Moscow. Just like the original, this one is also made of wood. You can come up here and have an amazing view. Look at this. The other building is this one here, right in front. This is the Church of St. Nicholas, and it's the highest wooden church in entire Russia. This Kremlin also has museums, cafes, street food. In Smilovo, there's a huge park, probably one of the biggest parks in town, one of the best as well. And uh, there's also a market. Everyone from my family wants a souvenir, so we're gonna check out the market. Oh, that is nice. 
price. The brush shop. How much? Yeah. Uh, 400. 400? 400? 400? Yeah. 400. This is probably the best place in town to buy souvenirs. You find everything here. And also a lot of antiques. Pasiva. This is first year's winter. 600 rubles. 600? Yes, 600. This one is cheaper. 500. Sovietic or Russo. Uh huh. Barbecue going on and it smells wonderful. It looks really good. Yeah. It's salmon, yeah. The problem is where do you eat it? Right here. In your hand? Yeah. Oh, they got upstairs. Upstairs, upstairs, sit up to my table for what you want. Whoa. Upstairs, open, open. Remember in the other video that I mentioned, I want to send some postcards here from Russia? Just found them. I'm buying them right here. Oh, and before I forget, to come here by Metro, you must get off at Partizanskaya station, not at Ismailovskaya. Moscow is a city of superlatives. It is the largest city entirely on the European continent. It is also the northernmost and coldest metropolis on Earth. Here you also find the tallest skyscraper in Europe and the tallest freestanding structure in Europe. That tower that I tried to show in the last vlog, but it didn't work. And it also has the busiest metro system in Europe. But there's one more statistic that not many people know. This is also one of the greenest capitals in the world. Over 40% of Moscow are covered by parks, forests, gardens. This is why I chose to come back to one of my favorite parks before saying goodbye to Moscow. Hello back, Gorky Park! <laughs> this is a favorite to Moscovites as well. There's always something going on here, you know? There's more Gorky Park in the video that I'm linking above. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching my videos. If you like this series, let me know. I'm done with Moscow, but not Russia. Next stop, Kazan. Wait, don't go yet. Remember that wood building in Ismail Lovo that was inspired by a famous palace in Moscow? This is the real deal, Kolomiskoi. This is an open air museum and it's famous for the great palace made of wood. Actually, it's not this one. <laughs> the original was destroyed by an empress, Catherine the Great, but it was rebuilt based on the exact same model that didn't get lost over the years. Very cool. Over the centuries, it was a summer palace for Russian Tsars. What's original here is this church. This is the Ascension Church from 1532, and it's a World Heritage Site. Just a quick stop. Now it's really time to go. Bye-bye! I got to keep on.